Most influencers are bad people. I've been through like so much shit, so much trauma, so much drama in my space. My dad called me the day and said, your subscribers have slowed down. He is affecting my mood. Because I don't think I'm relevant and I never have. I never thought, oh, I'm relevant or not relevant. But until like everybody started talking about it. So yeah, yeah, I was exactly. scared yeah. of falling off with my audience. Like I've been canceled in 2018. All right, guys, before we start this video, I want to give a big shout out to Okai for sponsoring this video. I was blessed, guys, blessed, because they sent me not one, but two of their Okai Neon e-scooters. <laughs> Literally could not believe that they sent me two scooters, guys, because my girlfriend Grace loves riding e-scooters, so I knew by having two, I could like literally plan all these fun, romantic getaway, like day dates where we like, you know, we could scoot, scoot around, scoot all over the city, and you know, we could just look at each other, laugh, all while scoot scooting. And that's literally what we do now. We scoot scoot, and it's fun. So, Okai gave me a bunch of brownie points. Shout out to them. <laughs> All right, so let me just show you how cool these Okai Neon e-scooters are. You're gonna love them. All right, first off, let's just talk about how portable and easy these are to use. Easy one click, and boom! You can put these anywhere. Light, you know, you can put them in your car, take them anywhere where they're, you know, they're not allowed to scoot, scoot, and then you can go scoot, scoot. Pretty cool. And then you can just, one click, boom! Ready to ride again. I love these scooters because you can control them through the Okai app. Super simple, super easy. You can lock and unlock your scooter through it. You can track your ride history. You can change what type of sport mode you want. Oh, and one of my favorite things, guys, you can customize the neon belt lights. See those lights? You can customize them. Pretty cool. Okay, Okai. Okay. Get it, the pun? Just came up with it. Pretty proud. Perfect for looking cool and being responsible by being visible at night while you're scoot scooing. Being responsible never looks so lit. Came up with that one too right now. Genius, write that down. It's got this great digital display, shows you the amount of battery you have left, how fast you're going and more. Gotta love it. It's got rear and headlights. Another great way to stay visible while you scoot, scoot and having a smooth ride. Another thing that I love about them guys is the power and battery. Me and my girlfriend took them out to the city all day and like literally had zero worries about the batteries running out. They go up to 15 miles per hour for 25 miles with a rated power of 350 watts. That's a 10 out of 10 in my book. The Okai Neon e-scooter is literally the scooter of my dreams. And I honestly genuinely love them, guys. I'm so happy with them. My girlfriend's happy with them, which means I'm happy with them. I actually took my girlfriend on a date today and, you know, we went scoot scooting around and it was great. It was super romantic and fun. I actually made a quick little montage for you guys because you guys know I love montages. It's super cute and romantic. So here it is. while we're riding the scoots. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we did it! <laughs> Super cute, right? Once again, shout out to Okai for sponsoring this video, sending me these amazing two e-scooters, the Okai Neon e-scooters, guys. You guys gotta check them out. Get yourself two. If you wanna go scoot scooting with you and your girl, I'm telling you, Perfect date. Anyways, back to this video. I hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, yeah, follow me on Instagram. And I love you guys. Mm. Must be nice, Alex. <clears throat> yeah, must be nice. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I think, you know, like a lot of people don't realize that like YouTube is our job, right? So views almost dictate how well we're doing our job.
So if the views aren't there, it's like you, you failed yourself, you failed everyone that was in the video, you failed your, the subscribers. Sometimes you like put your heart and soul in a video and it does bad, so, so it affects my mood. But sometimes the views do really well. Like I just trended on YouTube. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Well, that makes me happy. <laughs> yeah. So you're, you're like walk happy. to the other side. You're like, so I'm gonna agree. So, so bashful. <laughs> but yeah, I think you know, it's like a lot of people don't realize that this is our job. Sometimes people just think like, oh, they, you know, it's not a real job. But yeah. it's like it's, it's our performance reports essentially every video. I totally feel you. I used to be very affected by it, um, and then I got to a point where I was like, oh wow, this is really hitting me. This is ruining my whole day. You know what I mean? And so I've gotten to a point where I'm just like, you know, maybe the notifications didn't go out. You know, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, maybe it's just not. YouTube's not down. That. That's a good way to look at it. Yes. You know? It's glitching. Down. I just come up with an excuse in my head and I'm like, you know, let's just like make the next one better. But I used to be, I would get really upset about it at one point, so, but not anymore. I, th I think it's difficult because if you have an older channel, uh, it's, you're like fighting a battle every year on a new update, this, mm -hmm. that, people are unsubscribing. It's really hard to not get discouraged because YouTube builds these walls up that you have to climb over year after year, where it used to just be you upload, if they subscribe, they see it. And now clearly obviously isn't the case. So my least favorite thing, and it's probably why I haven't uploaded in two years, mm. is because I would have a video, I'd be editing it, I'd be laughing and going, this is a really good video. And if it did bad, my immediate response would be, this was a bad video. And I realized that creatively that was ruining my brain and I had to like get away with it. And that's why I stopped for that reason. Yeah. I, I've just been doing it for so long that like I've, I've been up and down and it's just, I, I, I don't even remember if it used to bother me, but it definitely doesn't now. At the beginning, like I would get like, uh, like uh, 500,000 views or something. And like at back the beginning? then. No, 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 no. What no, was not, the end like then? Yeah, well, that's because there's like only 10 of us, okay? <laughs> right. So, that's but like true. we would get something like that, but like, or even if I got like 100,000, Today that would be like 10 million or like a million, so like it doesn't really affect me. And I, I'm just lucky because I've been doing it for so long, and I was successful at one point. So if I go up or down from now, it's like that's okay. I'll figure it out. Yeah. yeah. So it's just I just been it's just the longevity of it. Me personally, um, I feel like it doesn't affect my immediate mood, but it makes me feel like a failure in the long term a little bit. As in like I'm gonna fail. Like oh gosh, like if this doesn't work out, dude, I'm gonna go back home. I don't want to go back home. So it's like. Um, you now, just started YouTube, right? I know. It's so, a cool perspective. It's so like, yeah, um, I just started. So like, I can't be mad because we're doing well now as a new channel. And it's like, I just don't want to feel like a failure in a way, if that makes sense. So it does make affect my, it doesn't affect my immediate mood, but it affects my later mood, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah. Like, I just want to feel like a fa I don't want to fail. I'm scared of failure. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> well, as a channel, like I've been doing it for so long too, like for eight years now. And I think in the beginning, I used to be really, really affected by it. Like I would be on this line like three years ago. But I've been through like so much shit, so much trauma, so much drama in my space. So I'm just kind of like, well, if it does good, great. If it doesn't, like, I don't care as much. I mean, I still care a little bit. I think I'll always care just a, a, a hint. Cause I'm like, oh, well, do people like me now? Like, do they not like me anymore? Like, I think sometimes I'll correlate views with if people actually like me. Yeah. Even though that's not yeah. the case, cause it's probably just liking the content or the subject of it. But sometimes I'll think like, oh, well, if I get low views, that means that I'm not liked. Yeah. I like you less when you get low, low views. I know. And I like myself like less too. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I feel like I would have been over there, but recently I did a video that I really cared a lot about and it didn't do good. I even called David about it. I was really upset. And so it did affect my immediate mood and now I'm here. Uh, I think I'm somewhere in between. I've been doing it for like two and a half years. So like, I'm not brand new. I'm not super like eight years in, but yeah, I mean, it, it does affect your mood because you feel like you failed your subscribers. You failed people who like to watch you. It's like, am I putting out something that's not good enough, or are they tired of me? Are they bored? Like, so yeah. And what keeps you from not going as strongly as you Um, because I try to think like Neza, where I'm like, oh, it's probably the notification, or like, <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. I try to make an excuse up because that's yeah. just easier sometimes than thinking you failed yourself, you know, or the people who watch you. Also, I have like Latino parents. Well, they're calling me like, mijo, your video did bad. No. <laughs> really? Pasó? My mom oh my used God. to call me with video suggestions in the beginning. Yeah. She'd be like, Vanessa, por qué? Like, why don't you just do this? Like, and I'm like, mom, oh. I'm not, I'm not a beauty channel. I'm like, I can't do that. And yeah, they're hilarious, man. My mom's you know my like, parents. Do you know Mr. Beast? You should give away like a million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, where the hell is that coming from? She's like, you have, you have brands working with you. I'm like, mom. My dad called me the day and said, your subscribers have slowed down. He's, he, he looked at me on the, what's it called? <laughs> <laughs> the 
the, um, the analytics. What? No. Social blade. Social blade. Not social blade. He's no. on social blade all the time. Not he's social like, blade. He's like, they've slowed down. You're on a downward. I'm like. Thanks. I don't think my dad knows what I do still, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God my mom doesn't know what social blade is. Oh, my dad knows what social blade is. I get does. calls every day. My dad yeah. thinks that's a movie, I think, so I'm in the clear. <laughs> We're good. Blade Runner kind of thing. Yeah. I uh, also have hometown friends that I'm still super like close with, like my best friend since like first grade. And our love language is like roasting each other. So when a video does bad, they're really good. They'll be you like, good. Bro, I'm telling you, you should have stayed in school. Oh, That's a joke. But what when, a it good does, love when it does well, they'd be like, bro, you ain't shit, dude. These, these <laughs> you're, fucking you're these are paid. They keep you humble, mm -hmm. man. Yeah. If, I, uh, if, I, well. if I ever feel bad about it, or like I'm like, oh, man, like I, I'm, I'm irrelevant or whatever, I just go to Jollibee, and everybody knows me at Jollibee. <laughs> <laughs> and they're me like, oh, my God, the whole me staff will come out. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we all got our spots. Like, hey, I need a foundation. <laughs> <laughs> me and Ryan yeah. just go home. And I, they, yeah, they're excited my dog gets excited to see you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which is nice. I pay for it, but it's nice. Don't worry, oh Devante. Someone's going to be excited to see you soon. S Savage. Hopefully. Soon. Savage. 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 Yeah. I go home and kiss Savage. Yeah, you have friends. <laughs> All right, great. Great answer. Would anyone like to change your position? Mm, I, don't, I don't think so. Yeah. That was a good one. That, that was, was good. good. Yeah, that, that was good. I feel seen and heard. I feel seen yeah. and heard. I feel seen and heard in a good way. <laughs> Oh God. Oh, we're so bitter. I have my reasoning. I do too. It's easier to be a TikToker. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Come here. <laughs> this bitch is limbo over here. He, he wants to be a TikToker. He really <laughs> <laughs> He swears. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna go here, and I have another my reasoning. Yeah. Okay. That's where you go. Okay. Um, I'll go. So, you, you go. You go. You go. Oh. No, I'm gonna go here too. Yeah, I gotta go here too. Oh, yeah, yeah, you go. No, okay. I'm staying. Um, not to offend the TikTokers of the world, but me, I edit my own videos, which they, some of them know. Um, so for me, I have extra work. Um, so it's, I mean, YouTube isn't easy, like, despite what anyone says. Like, being a YouTuber, it's not. Um, it's a lot of work. Um, and But the reason that I moved from Strongly is because I do post on TikTok too. And for me, trying to keep up with the trends and learning choreography and doing all that, it there is some, you know, there's a, there is some something about having to keep up with the trends, I guess, that like, I'm like, oh, maybe it's not like that easy. But it's, I definitely think that YouTube is uh, harder. I was gonna say that reminds me of the YouTuber versus Vine argument all over again. Cause mm -hmm. like when you're creating mm -hmm. shorter form content, it's easier because you have a, a punchline, especially if you do comedy. I think you can have a punchline. A YouTube video if you're comedy, you need 40 punchlines. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's so much easier to just write something real quick, make a trend. And keeping up with trends is hard, but in terms of work, to me that's not work, it's just browsing. So mm -hmm. like I'm, it's harder to edit for me than browse, write a punchline. TikTok is still not easy, it's difficult to master, but I wouldn't call it super hard work for what, what I would use it for. Yeah. I don't know. I, I said agreed to only because I've, you know, I do have a TikTok as well. And uh, not famous at all on it. And I tried. <laughs> You're not famous on YouTube either. Just not. <laughs> 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 so, she, he moves over. He's like, all right. <laughs> He's, he's doing better. I'm kidding. I love humble, you. He's having a great month. I had to humble him. <laughs> yeah. I, I was trending today, so. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's why I had to humble no, no, you. Um, like Ryan said, like, mostly always agree with Ryan. Thank you. Um, with everything. Mostly but, always. Mostly. Browsing, too, is like, sometimes homework in the sense where, like, I mean, most of, most of my videos are fucking Jubilee and Cut and, you know, <laughs> Sidemen rehashes, you know, with just my friends. Go subscribe to them. Check them out. I just feel like TikTok is also really hard because I just don't know how to dance. I'm not hot enough. I can't do one of these. That looked really good. I'm yeah. real. You're pretty I thick. Can't. It's, it's hard to dance, dude. All those guys doing these. <laughs> that is, I, still, I still don't know how to do that. That's better than yeah. I can't do it either. No way. I think YouTube is way harder in the sense where like you do have to like put in the time, the effort, you know, like editing long form just takes forever. Yeah. But it's insane. I think TikTok's still, still hard to grow. It's like, it's way easier to go viral, but to yeah. keep that point of like, being like a TikTok personality, like I've gone viral. Do you think it's harder to grow on TikTok? No, it's no. easier. No. Way it's easier, it's easier but like easier. to stay like way I've had, to I've maintain it, right? Like, yeah. To, to yeah. keep it up's hard. Yeah, like yeah, like I like we've gone viral a bunch on TikTok, but like Nothing am I a TikToker? Like no one, no one, no. 
I, I think YouTube is way harder than yeah. TikTok. Because yeah. mm -hmm. even though YouTube does the same thing, but TikTok is just copying other people's TikToks. And mm -hmm. hopefully uh, you trend. get to jump on their trend because that video the does sounds. it and they see yours. The but YouTube does that too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like David. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, we are really <laughs> humbling David. Yeah, but, but like, I don't say it's a bad thing, but it's a lot easier when you don't have to come up with something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At least you have to come up with videos and like get people to comment, ask questions. Like TikTok, you do the exact same thing that somebody else did. And you just and, credit them in the caption. Yeah. yeah. And then when I post on TikTok, like it does great. I, I post anything nostalgic or anything that's trending and it gets millions and it's so easy. Like, so yeah. that's why I just think YouTube's a little harder. I feel like I come from an extremely unbiased opinion because TikTok's my biggest platform. I think I'm the youngest person here. Just Rub it in. Word. Younger. <laughs> Call us dirt. Um, okay. Deep and up. I still think YouTube's harder, even though I like a lot of people call me a TikToker, and I don't think I I consider myself a YouTuber because YouTube's my main income. YouTube's a lot harder. I do edit my videos sometimes too, and it's so much more work, and it's so much. I know a couple TikTokers personally that are like, yeah, go you guys, because it is so much harder. Even though I'm sitting here, TikTok being my biggest platform, I'm still standing. Strongly agree. I think social media at all, if you're on social media at all in general, it's hard because you get backlash, you get shit on mm -hmm. for anything. Even if you like look ugly that day, someone can comment, you look ugly. I think anything is hard if you're in the public eye, but I think YouTube's so much harder. Work, yeah. trends. Also TikTokers, they can post the same dance to the same song like five times in a row. And it works, mm -hmm. I've done it. They're gonna get views on it. Yeah, if, if I did the same video, Five times in a row, they'd be like, dude, how many, exactly times are you, how many times are you gonna steal this video in a row? I feel like you actually have to show personality on YouTube. Oh, wow, that's Whereas massive. with TikTok, you just need a perm mm -hmm. hair, get some highlights, and a dangly, dangly <laughs> yeah, ear. Or abs. Yeah. Sorry, no shots, because we're abs. all doing the same thing, but. I tried like, perming the other day, like it didn't like work. I tried dangly earrings, it didn't work. Yeah. The numbers are boosted, and it's easier to start I tried to be straight, it didn't work. <laughs> that's true, that's, <laughs> a, that's, a, really good, that's a really good point. That's a good point, I agree. I think, that, like for me, like I actually get asked so much by people that are big on TikTok in the beauty space, how I do YouTube. So I know that like they are like, oh, like you, like TikTok is like different. Like I need help on YouTube because they see me as a YouTuber. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I do TikTok. I do all the platforms. But when it comes to like the yeah, actual only algorithm, I do not. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, I um, so when it comes to, like the because like, I feel like the, the algorithm favors especially like smaller creators that like get a lot of shares. Like it happens really quickly and it can kind of boost so quick. YouTube is not like that. Like yeah, your like video might hit like an algorithm. Algorithm, but it's not the same. Like it's you're not burn. getting millions. Of, you, you can see TikToks with 40 million views in one day. Mm -hmm. Like that doesn't mm -hmm. happen on and YouTube. And it could be their first. Even video. if it's number one on trending, yeah. it's not happening on YouTube yeah. unless no. you're Mr. Yeah. Beast. Never. So it's like it just doesn't happen. <laughs> I also yeah. think or I also BTS. Think, I also think YouTube yeah. people who are like they sneeze subscribers and go viral. <laughs> to YouTube are more devoted fans than like if mm -hmm. I follow someone on TikTok because I'm never watch. on my following page. What? Yeah, no, we're never on my following page. I'm yeah. on the for you page. Yeah, me too. And mm. so, and like our content lasts so much longer that people really need to be invested in us as humans instead of just liking us doing. Yeah. It's yeah. different. Being on okay. camera, speaking, fine. having a personality, I guess, it's different. I think that's why people probably ask you because it's, it's completely different, you know, doing a dance on TikTok, but then having to be on the camera and actually like be relatable. Yeah. yeah. Or doing a review of a product. Yes. And it's like, how are you going to do a 30 minute video Correct. and keep it entertained for at least 15 minutes? Yeah. yeah. Whereas if you're doing a quick, 30 second YouTube review, has more boundaries you got to get past. Yeah. Where TikTok, yeah. it's kind of the wild, wild west right now. Mm -hmm. People are just mm -hmm. figuring it out as they go. Yeah. Yeah. YouTube has a structure, and if you don't follow it, it's really hard. You're fine. Yeah. It's yeah. really hard. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't care how much money you have, it's hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, I think we got it. Great answers. Cool. I'm really glad we all agreed on that. I feel super confident about that answer, too. I do, too. I love <laughs> yeah. that answer. Same. Being a YouTuber is harder than a 95. Oh. Ooh. Gosh, we're all stuck. <laughs> Wait. Oh no. <laughs> Can I just be neutral? I Thank you, David. <laughs> oh, maybe neutral. I don't know. Let's talk it out. Maybe I'll yeah. switch. Yeah. I gotta talk it out. I actually, a lot of the times, miss having a nine to five because when I did have a nine to five, during those hours, I was at work, and when I was off, I was off. With YouTube and mm. social media, you're never off. Mm. Even when you are on social media, it's not just yeah. for fun. It's like, oh, I gotta do this, I gotta keep up with the trends, I gotta post, I didn't post in this long, I gotta post a story, I, gotta, I forgot to promote this, I forgot to do this brand deal. So it's like an all the time job. Mm -hmm. But it depends on a job, because nine to five, there's, there's so many jobs out there. So, but if you're doing the same thing, like when I was a waiter, I loved being a waiter, but I didn't have to learn anything new every day. I knew the same thing, and I did that same thing every day. With YouTube, you like 16 years of creating videos. I made thousands of videos, and none of them are the same, and that's rough. 
And that's hard. That's true. So I've had both jobs, and I actually miss being in 9 to 5 all the time. He, that's a super good point, honestly. I think for me, I know that when, I'm, when I was in my YouTube phase, it was all on me, which is a bad thing, but a good thing. I couldn't get fired by somebody. I couldn't have a customer throw a GPS at me like at Best Buy. I wouldn't have somebody complaining to me or going to my manager or like having to wake up at a certain time. So I think the freedom that it gives me, worth it for me. Like it's YouTube to me is, was always easier because of the freedom of not having somebody to say, you have to be here at this time it's a lot easier creatively for me than working a nine to five. So I think nine to fives are difficult for the fact that you have to be there on time, yeah. happy yeah. when you're, you're told to, not like, okay, I'm feeling creative today, now I'm gonna lock in. I think, there's, I think we can all pick and choose at that point. Yeah, I feel like I agree with both of you guys in a sense, but you're right, like we're never off. We have to be on all the time. Like, or ready to be on. Ready yeah. to be on, you know, it's not just our channel. Like, you guys still have to come like work with me. You have to work with like you, you, you. And like you said, I think you make a good point. Like we have to constantly be learning only because we do have the chance, the possibility of like falling off whenever. Mm -hmm. There's always like that fear, you yeah. know? Yeah. But you're right, we, all, we always have to constantly be learning and trying to get better and stuff like that. So that's why I'm kind of like, Depends I on think the it's really hard to like have a nine to five. I'm glad I don't have a nine to five, but sometimes I wish I had like an easier structure where like I could just clock in and clock out. I think for me, I feel like YouTube is the easiest, hardest job I've ever had. Like the, the amount of work I put into YouTube for the amount of money I make is like obscene, honestly. And that's why I think that like a nine to five, depending on the job, like imagine like a mom working a nine to five with three kids, like she's killing herself. Like YouTube's easier than that. Like mm -hmm. to me, it's not harder. Yeah. Like to me, it's like, oh, like I can make a lot of money. I can literally disappear for a year if I wanted to and have enough money to do that. A lot of people don't have that luxury. So I think to me, I'm like grateful for YouTube. And like, I just don't think that it's a hard, like it's hard, but it's not, hard like I would rather like oh it's hard dude. it's hard no it's hard don't get me wrong I, I, I agree it's hard but it's not like as hard as other jobs can be for me kind of going off that because I worked retail six years um and I was still at that job when I started YouTube you still got a discount from Paxson no sorry Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I Paxson. I, so I worked for Paxson for six years um and just the physical which Probably people are like, what? But like the physical toll that my body took off that, because I was a manager, right? So I was working 40 plus hours a week, standing for forever. Sometimes people wouldn't show up to work. I was there from open to close, right? And so I think- But have you ever sat on your ass for 40 hours? <laughs> Editing. Editing, dude. Well, yeah, that, that too. Hurts. I don't know. And eating. <laughs> and eating and watching and eating. Seinfeld Doing whatever time. you want. It's so crazy getting to live Isn't the life really you want to live. <laughs> It's so wild. For, for the physical toll that my body took and then to make the little pot of money that I made, right? Compared mm -hmm. to what I'm now making and my body's like, I'm running, I'm doing sprints now, right? Like, yeah. you know what I mean? I feel like, like what he said, like it's like the easiest, YouTube's like the easiest, hardest job I've yeah, had. But what about the mental toll too? Like the whole Huge views yeah. thing, like Sitting me there, having to ask Keen or JC to be in a video, <laughs> dude. You know how fucking stressful well, it is? Retail for me was mentally draining too. I was like, mm -hmm. a lot of also the times, working with the general public too. Yeah. Customers, like sometimes customers think that they're entitled and mm -hmm. it is just like. Oh, some of them are trash. Dude, yeah. it's so, like you go home, like, like what? Like, what did I deal with today? Like, mm -hmm. why am I putting myself through this? And so that's why I think, like, you, you hit it like right on the nail, like, the amount of money I was making, being that tired and that exhausted and that unhappy compared to what I'm doing now, I feel like nine to five is harder. What about you, Tara? Man, I feel like both have its up and downs, you know, that's why I'm neutral. It's like, I've worked in public, like not retail, but I worked at a coffee shop and you get thrown, you get like drinks thrown back at you and stuff like that. But that's the same thing as reading a bunch of comments that are super rude to you and you can't change anything about yourself. Um, just like Manny said, it's the easiest, hardest, or hardest, easiest, what'd you say? The hardest, easiest job. Hardest, easiest job. Just because... like Manny said, it's, what the fuck did you say? <laughs> 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 I feel like, I feel like what I don't like, okay, so the reason I'm neutral is because I don't like when people are like, man, being a YouTuber must be so freaking easy. You can do whatever you want whenever you want it. And it's a little bit more, you know, I think it's a little bit more than that, but I don't think it's as physically draining as a nine to five or. Yeah even mentally draining sometimes because you sit there doing the same thing every day and oh, yeah. I personally don't like doing that. I like doing different things every day so I enjoy my job. Also with the comments, what you said, my whole theory has been like, you can delete and block a comment. If someone's in front of me, yeah. I can't a lot harder delete. Right. And so right. Right. when right. dealing with customers for me was a lot more difficult because you have to bite your tongue. Yeah. You could just delete, delete and block. Them. And mm -hmm. to me, yes, it can be taxing for sure, but there is a way to get out of it. Yeah. In person, it's not the case. <laughs> and yeah. you could get fired 
for something that you or punched. There's just a little the, the mental taxing to me is different with a nine to five in real life versus in my room, my dog eating Postmates. If that's even though yeah. it's a lot and it's it's taxing and I'm editing, still would rather <clears> do that. Yeah, but what about like dating? What about dating? Oh God, like, I've dated. I've never dated a social media person. I normally, you know, date a civilian. <laughs> a peasant. Not a peasant. Not a peasant. Oh my God. They like. You grace them with your presence. They sometimes don't see how like YouTube is work. Like I'm like, oh, I gotta go film with Neza. Mm -hmm. And they're like, can you? Like I thought we were gonna hang out today. Or like, can you just hang out today? I'm like, no, I gotta go. So you work. owe someone something. You know, I yeah. owe someone like they did a video for me. It's like, hey, I gotta edit. And it's like, hey, can you wanna go, let's go watch a movie instead? I'm like. Ah. Gotta edit. Yeah. She's like, it's you your own really time management. Though? It's hard. Mm -hmm. Do you really though? Like, can we just like, can you s just post a day late? No. And it's like I can, but I can't. And I mean, I've just had I've had a personally a lot of issues with my girlfriends like understanding the time management. Kind mm -hmm. of thing. Yeah. It's your own time management versus a nine to five, which is easy. It's like a, it's, a, it's like a fun thing, but it's also hard. Yeah. yeah. It's a self motivated job. Like yeah. that's literally what it is. Like if no one no one's telling you what to do ever. Mm -hmm. It's literally like you're doing it because you want to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For the and first eight years weird. of doing YouTube, I, every time I went back to North Carolina, people would be like, oh, what do you do? And I was like, oh, I'm a YouTuber. And they're like, yeah, okay, but what's your job? And I'm like, what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. And also, oh. Damn. oh, I thought about I like, it. I like. Okay. Because I was thinking about it like if you're already a YouTuber and you've already been doing a job. But if you think about it from the beginning, it's way harder to make it on YouTube at, if you have nothing than mm -hmm. it is to be a way to like go to a restaurant and learn how to work yeah. there. Very low percentage of people will make it on YouTube. Yeah. So like, if you look at it from the very beginning, YouTube's way harder. What about you, Devonte? You, you just mm -hmm. started YouTube. So before you were, you had a regular job, what, yes. you a model? No, I worked at, U <laughs> I know. Before, okay, I worked at UPS. Wow. I worked at GameStop. He was a model. And I was also a Free food runner. And I feel like I am more stressed now than I was before because mm -hmm. there's a lot more structure. I knew I was gonna make money. I knew I was gonna get my hourly pay. Now with YouTube, I'm not established. I could literally fall off the earth tomorrow and then boom, I fail. Now it's a stress because I, who knows if I'm gonna get a paycheck, you know? I'm not established. I don't get brand deals like that. I don't get like, you know, the most views on YouTube. So it's like, we gotta keep on working and, you know, fight the algorithm and fight the luck and you know, but that's my choice because I obviously want to become a YouTuber. Well, essentially I am. Um, so, yeah, like it's my my decision. But I'm definitely more stressed now than I was before. And you also have to I share a paycheck. Like, exactly. Like, yeah, 50-50. Like, so it's like. Yeah, I feel like because I was still working for Paxson when I started YouTube because I was scared to just cold turkey. And you moved out here and were like, the YouTube, I'm doing it. Yes. So like full I time. feel, I feel. You also stress. got really lucky because you. Someone took a chance on you. I got very lucky, thanks to David, honestly. I owe David like my whole YouTube. I was wondering YouTube, where you going with that. My I YouTube career, like, huh. basically. Um, if I knew Neza and, and yeah. they were looking for a small creator, someone yeah. who wanted to be one, to come into a YouTube house yeah. who could sing. And I was like, I know the perfect girl. She's beautiful. <laughs> and she we had known sing. each other for maybe three weeks at that point. Yeah. Yeah. Aww. So. Oh, yeah. And I was like, dude, I love it if you kept that PacSun discount. <laughs> I think you can make it, girl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, that's how that happened. Does anybody want to change the spot? Yeah. All right. Go back to Facebook, please. Man, I hope I don't look like an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm so worried. Comments get to me. Three, two, one. Yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little, little different on this one. So, like, the views are really important to me. But comments, I think after, like, maybe the first year or something or two, I've been, I've been doing this for like a really long time. They stopped caring to me less and less just because I realized that there was just, just someone behind a computer I never like, they're just trying to get your attention sometimes. I don't know. If someone calls me an asshole, like short or ugly or unfunny. That one, well, unfunny, I'm like, ah. <laughs> um, but. Now everyone knows what the comment. <laughs> yeah, David's not funny. I just, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't really bother me that much. And like Ryan said, you could just block someone. Hmm. I've never really blocked anyone, but. I don't know, comments really don't get to me. Tara, you just moved? He said unfunny, and if someone, <laughs> like I feel like it's one thing to comment on appearance, I'm just like whatever, uh, you know, you get over it. You're like, okay, I'll change my hair, I'll change this, like I don't care what you think about my appearance, but if someone comments on my personality, something that like I think, you know, it's who I am, I love my personality, it would get to me, but you know, I'm like really indifferent about it, because it's like, yeah, on one hand, I have been ignoring them for a long time, but on the other, Sometimes, if someone keeps saying something about me, of course it's gonna get to me, I'm a fucking person, you know?
I'm like very I'm neutral again about it. Wait, don't start commenting. That's yeah, tough to me. Like, <laughs> yeah. it hurts. That's it what I'm here, hurt. not there. <laughs> hurt this guy. Hurt. <laughs> you can try. It hurts, but I try to ignore it. That's what I'm saying. Like, it hurts. It does get to me, but I try to ignore it as much as I can. I think I'm getting better at it. That's why. I think yeah. it depends on the comment. My, one of my first ever comments on YouTube uh, was, you have horrific teeth. And at the time, <laughs> ah, oh my god, I, yeah. this no is before way. I got my teeth fixed, which can show you that I take it seriously. I looked at that comment for about 40 minutes, and I was like, do I? And then I asked my friend, he was like, you have a couple gaps. And I was like, oh my god. I didn't know that. I'm not kidding. Yeah, I was yeah. like, you know, I grew up in Philly, yeah. whatever. That kind of prepped me for the future of comments. Now. If somebody says something silly or whatever, a little hate comment, it won't get to me. But, like you said, the appearance things, if somebody says, like, you don't have asymmetrical eyes, I'd be, I would look at myself in the mirror for two hours and think about it. So I would be lying if I said, nah, they don't, I, I don't give a fuck, bro, I'm the shit. Like, no, somebody says something about the way I look and, it, and, it, and I agree, yeah. it's a wrap. Yeah. That's it's a wrap. Funny. That's funny because I feel like my someone commenting my personality would hurt me more than my appearance. Yeah, I guess it depends what you feel more confident yeah. on it too, right? I think that makes you're sense. You're so cute though. Thanks. Even with the gap. I fixed it too. So. <laughs> even with, <laughs> even with, I loved you even when the you were The braces were too. expensive, so shout yeah, out to that no, guy. Yeah. Appreciate it. Still. <laughs> Thank you. For me, it's on the it depends on the comment. Like most, like nine times out of ten, I will say like, uh, whatever. Mm. But it's the one comment that's like, Manny, I've been following you for five years. And seeing you do this really disappointed me. Oh, yeah. And it really, really affected me because this is this. And I'm like, oh my God. And then I just start to shrink because mm. I'm like, oh my God, I thought... Like, I didn't mean it to come across in this way, obviously, but if someone takes it that way, it makes me feel kind of bad because, I don't know, I just, I don't want ever someone to think that my intention is bad because I never have bad intention with anything. People can get hurt by things, of course, but for me, it just affects me more when it comes to, like, who I am as a human being. Not necessarily the way I look, not necessarily, like, my personality. It's more so, like, who I am. Like, and, they, and if they say things like, oh, like, I've been following you for so long and who you are now, I'm really disappointed with who you are, I'm like... Oh my god, like That's it just lot. affects me more than it would like, oh your eyeliner's not even, I'm like I know, like I don't care, like it's, it's the, it's who I am that kind of sucks sometimes. Yeah, it's not the appearance comments, you know, I got some self love, you know, so it's never been Facts. like, <laughs> it's never Facts. been like, I got self love, it's never been like the appearance uh, comments, but I feel like my first, because I've only been doing YouTube at this like my third year, and I feel like the first year I would have been where Alex is because I didn't deal with anything like that like but as you start growing as you guys all know from experience as you start growing a little more you get to this point where like now people who don't really know you are seeing your videos and you know they've also this is my first time ever in a public relationship Ooh. ever Ooh. as you understand and obviously everyone has an opinion on on that so I think yeah they just get to me it's, it's the personality it's the things about my life it's like little things like that, like we're human, man. Like, you know, it's like, but then those people would never say it to our face, like mm -hmm. ever, ever. Yeah, you but know yeah. what bothers me? I guess the comments, the comments that do get me are the ones like, like from my last video, they're like, man, these are all just a bunch of white people. And I'm like, bro, I'm, I'm Latino, like. Mm -hmm. That like bothers well, I told me. You that. Yeah, I hate that. <laughs> you know? Yeah, you know, it's <laughs> like, like so Danny's bad. Latino too, like, yeah. you know, like my yeah. parents don't, can't speak English, you know, yeah. like. He yeah. said, oh, like, you know, when they say stuff like, Stuff like that that are like just they just don't know. It's so like it's when people comments. assume things that aren't true about you. Yeah. But but put it not and don't put like it's the way they write it out to it it's as if it's fact, right? Mm. Like yeah. they, like the they know you. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's insane. It's like Tara's a shit person and I know that. Yeah. <laughs> Eight hundred 800 likes, you're like fuck. <laughs> Dude, literally, it's the Why likes. Why so I many likes? Yeah. When I hate comments, the top comment. That's the worst. High user from channel. Yeah, mm. <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> what about you, Dylan? Is it, you just started. Does it hurt right away or? No, honestly, we don't get a lot of hate comments. But in the beginning, you, you don't. In the beginning, yeah, yeah. you don't. It's coming. It's yeah, compare yourself, you Devante. You but we get compared a lot, and that's what bothers me. Yeah. Oh. So yes, we get Deep compared to Keenan and JC a lot and Will and Dill, mm. okay. which is oh, duo channel. Because we're a duo channel, and we're like Got the newest it. one to the friend group. So it's like, oh, you guys copy Keenan and JC. They've been doing this for five. Of course, you know, they have a lot of videos that they've been doing this for five years now. That, so I was like, we kind of, you know. See, that would bother me too, but I'd be like, they're not the only, they're not the I know. first duo. So exactly, but you're, not gonna you're not gonna tell your stands that they're they're co they, co yeah. they copied someone else. Then I reevaluate, like, okay, do I not have a personality of my own now because I copied Keen and JC? But no, they just have a, they've been doing it five years. They did, they did it all. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah. what can me and Savage do at this point where we're not copying Keen and JC? You're, just, you're way taller than JC, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really care what people say in comments. I've read, like, in the video I was in, the last one, I've read I've, thousands of comments. I've read every single comment. 
Um, but the hate ones don't, I just pass it. It just does I don't know why, it just doesn't affect me. I just think. You really good with that, even in life, though. Like, yeah. What's it like being confident? Negative say anything yeah. about you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It just doesn't really affect me. And like, I had, I've had like friends and girlfriends in the past, and like, they get one comment, they're like, everybody hates me. And I'm like, there's one tweet. That was one comment. But I just like, I'm super interested in what they're saying or what they thought about the video or what they thought about that joke. But like, that's that's all I'm interested in. But I read everything. Every tweet, every comment I get, uh, you'd be surprised. If I get like 5,000 comments, I've probably read all those comments. Can I just say public relationship really quick? That will get you some hate yeah, comments. Yeah. I remember the, <laughs> I got so much hate from an entire country. What? When KSI and Deji like made videos oh, about yeah. me and got over 20 million views. And they were titled laughing at Alex Wasabi. And I just got all this hate. And I was like, instead of being like, oh no, I was just like, whoa. Like, <laughs> I was like, that's crazy. Because if they hate you or love you, they care. Like they yeah. care about you, so I'm like, wow, a lot of people care about me. I so like that's that's how that's I. That's such a sweet way of thinking about it. It came yeah. off, yeah. Alex is like, whoa, a whole country hates yeah, me. Yeah, whole country. Fuck yeah. I was so shocked. I did it's not crazy, know who KSI was <laughs> when <laughs> when we started beefing. Yeah, but it was crazy. Anybody want to change your spot? I guess now thinking about it more, I'm like, yeah, there's some, some fucking idiots out there. Mm -hmm. I moved to a little. Keyboard bit. warriors. Keyboard like when they warriors. say I'm not funny, when they say something that wasn't funny, that I'm like, man, that was so funny. Yeah. What are you talking yeah. about? Like, that was so <laughs> funny. It's like, dude, I stole that joke from I, Ryan. Yeah. How can you not <laughs> say it was funny? Yeah, that, that kind of. <laughs> that me up. All right, it's part of it. I love being taller than David. <laughs> what the hell, man? <laughs> Everyone's just looking over you, just like. I told you comments like that affect me, dude. No, you did. This video is very unfunny. I'm gonna comment that. He's like, what? Oh my gosh, mm. I don't know. Dude. Wait, what? I could feel like I could be relevant whenever? Like fall off. Anytime. Oh, yeah. Mm. I mean, I haven't even made a YouTube video in two years, so like my thing has been, yeah, you can fall off or be irrelevant at any time, but like you can also go the opposite route at any time. It really, a lot of it is just luck of the, of the draw for me. So uh, since I haven't done it for a while and I still have some sort of relevancy, it's giving me more confidence to know that it's not just YouTube too. It's other things that can bring you some sort of relevancy, whether it's just working with people, anything like that. So when it comes to YouTube in general, I don't, I don't worry about that at all. A hundred percent. Like I've been doing this for five months. I could just, no one wants me anymore, but then it's like, you know, I'm so new. So yeah, it's scary. I'm You're not like established. In a new world for yeah. sure. Yeah, so. welcome. Welcome. <laughs> I'm excited. Welcome. Yeah. I can feel like if my video tomorrow, like if I post this one and I have Manny MUA in my thumbnail oh God, I hate and it do that. doesn't do I well. I really fucking hate doing that. This yeah. is the pressure I feel. I'm like, go. <laughs> I've fallen uh, off because I know it's not you, baby. <laughs> yeah, it's true, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just feel like, you know, I've seen it where like, you know. <clears throat> just because, you know, we, we all still have a bunch of bills. You know, a lot of people depend on me. So I feel like I get constantly scared, like, oh, I'm not going to be able to take care of my family or, you know, the, my future kids are not going to be able to do this or that or I can't afford this. But So I'm kind of scared on that aspect, and I feel like any of us could just... YouTube is so saturated now. If you don't constantly post or do anything, I mean, like, Ryan hasn't posted two years and you're still relevant, so that's... I think it depends on like, for me, and not just saying this, I don't think I'm relevant. I think I could be relevant in some small friend group, but I'm not blind enough to know it to the world. I'm super irrelevant. Nobody knows yeah, the fuck I am. How fucking cool is that? You're still, like, you know? But th that's why, so like, I don't fear that because I don't think I'm relevant and I never have, yeah. right? So I think to feel like you're going to fall off, you got to think that you're relevant in a sense, in my opinion. I just don't have that's the confidence. That's true. I haven't, yeah, I've never felt <laughs> relevant. I felt like I've, I, I know Alex, I know Manny, I know Neza, and... Yeah. Well, you're relevant to me, David. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good moment. Um, I don't know. Now I feel like I might want to switch to me, the neutral, just because you guys know me. I'm a workaholic, and I have never not like gotten to somewhere like a new level of where I've wanted to be. I manifest a lot. I write down a lot of things. When I started YouTube, I said, I'm going to be a vid uh, VidCon featured creator in two years. And I did it. And, you know, and I have a lot of things like that on my list. And so I don't know if I could ever not be successful in one area, whether it's some form of social media. Oh, what? You moved? Yeah. 
Um, so I feel like I'm just gonna move over here because I don't want to think like that. I don't want to put. I don't want to manifest that. It's I don't want to put it out. It's true. When she started YouTube, you're like, David, I want to be a VidCon yeah. featured creator, and I was like. <laughs> Me too. I've been trying to do it for years. <laughs> Good luck. And it's just like the next year, it's just like, I am one. And I was like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> like, yeah. like, can I get your guest pass? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She, look, she did give you her guest pass. <laughs> <I did. laughs> <laughs> it's a humbling experience. I've been there too. I did. I it did. is a humbling experience. I've been there um, too. So yeah, I'm just moving just because I don't want to put it out there. I don't want to jinx it. Um, and I don't need to be like, you know, this crazy, relevant, like, big, massive um, influencer. But I feel like I'm always going to, like, have that drive in whatever I do. And I'm always gonna be doing social media. It's like what I've always been doing. That's a, that's a good I feel like relevancy or irrelevancy is irrelevant. Mm -hmm. Like that's just a new thing. I've been on YouTube forever and that's a new thing in like the last maybe years. eight years, yeah. five years. Yeah. Like, and that's just like what the kids wanna say. And it's like how YouTubers bully other YouTubers. Like you're irrelevant. And that's yeah. like, the, that's all it is. And like, I never thought, oh, I'm relevant or not relevant. But until like everybody started talking about it, so it doesn't really matter, dude. You're like, too like, me, bro. Also, right? like the last one, the bully yeah. one. Like, what about this one? So we've been doing it forever, and like we've gotten millions of views. So that means if you put the world's population together, millions of people know us. So no matter what, doesn't that make us relevant? Like, why does it matter? <laughs> God damn. <laughs> like, do you say that because you're established? No, no. Would I'm that just change saying... your opinion if you're like me, as in like. So new to the game. Well, he has like, perspective. Perspective is everything. Yes. So when you yeah. don't have perspective, it's so. Super I guess hard. my perspective is different from yours. I feel like I, I, you've well, been I doing just, it for so long. It's like yeah, I just don't care everyone about knows relevancy. I don't think anybody should. So mm -hmm. that's why I'm just like that's why I'm a neutral. I'm like his perspective is different too because you saw a bunch of your friends doing it and you're like wow like. I want to do that. Like, Alex, weren't you just doing videos? Yeah, we were just doing videos for fun. But YouTube Before was we were so getting, different. Yeah, so YouTube different was then. different. For five then. years, we were making videos mm -hmm. every week or every month and not getting paid because we didn't even think you could get paid until they offered it. And we're like, what? You can do that? And so, like, it just never really mattered. So I guess I just never jumped on it. It matters more to the newer YouTubers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you said it's a new word that people made up, relevancy and irrelevancy, when he asked the question, I thought, relevancy to people who watch me, because I don't think I'm established or relevant. Mm. I just thought I wouldn't want to be irrelevant to the people who love and watch me because I feel like I would let someone down, let myself down, let them down. So I didn't even think about it like that, but now that I think about it, I'm gonna move here yeah. because yeah. I don't think I'm relevant enough to be irrelevant. Sorry, excuse me. I also don't think you lose relevancy to the people that truly love and support you. Like, mm -hmm. I don't think their minds will ever be like, oh, you haven't posted on YouTube? I don't care about you anymore. Mm -hmm. To the real people that are there, they just love you for what you've brought to the table for years. Yeah. Exactly. They're not going to go, oh, you haven't tweeted in two months. Yeah. F you. Like, nah, You're relevant was, to somebody. Yeah, yeah exactly. I was scared yeah. of falling off with my audience, not in general, because I don't think I'm relevant enough to say that, oh, I could be relevant one day, but I would be scared, that's why I was there, yeah. to fall off with the people who watch me, because I feel like I would let them down and myself down. Yeah, that makes sense. But like but I was saying, it's just a tool to bully. Yeah. Like, nobody right. says, oh, I'm relevant. Yeah, but they only life, say, you're yeah. irrelevant. Yeah. And like, it's just a tool that's to a high bully. Five. Like, Imagine LeBron like having a bad game and going, I'm irrelevant. Yeah, now. that's yeah, like, so annoying. It's just like, I wish I could just tell all the kids in the world, be like, guys, don't worry about that. You're going to grow up thinking that you're irrelevant. Yeah. Because it's just dumb. Yeah. yeah. It's all subjective. That's it. It's, it's yeah. all fake. I understand why you're standing there, though. No, 100%. It's yeah. all perspective. That's yeah. All. yeah. Yeah. You're hanging out with, like, super, like, popular people. Super like, YouTubers. Yeah. Like, when I started off, I was just like, my friends were doing YouTube. I was like, Hey, let me write for you. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but you're like a victim of the newer thing because you think that that's what you have to be relevant because yeah. of all the newer YouTubers are telling you that, but like we're telling you you don't. Like it's not as important as you think. Mm -hmm. yeah. Would I respect you more if you're relevant? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm in a David video, so I guess really? I'm pretty cool. <laughs> as long as you're consistent, Devante, you're gonna build your community. Yeah, exactly. Your yeah. like that's yours. Mm -hmm and you're gonna be relevant to them. There's you know YouTubers I mean? with you're millions of subscribers that I've never heard of. Oh, okay. yeah. like, ever. Exactly. Yeah. I, there's like YouTubers I meet at like VidCon or something with and they millions. have like, I just went to VidCon Abu Dhabi and they have like 20 million subscribers, this family, and I never heard of them ever in my life. So like. Yeah, and that yeah. wouldn't make them irrelevant. Yeah. Right, they're still relevant to you. Yeah. They yeah. could be irrelevant, but to 20 so, million people. That's yeah. why it's all, it's all yeah. subjective. That's yeah. all. In my there's like A-list celebrities in every country that none of us have ever heard of. Yeah. yeah. Like when I go to the Philippines, I don't know any of them if I like am mm -hmm. around them. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Maddie, you said agree. What was the question again? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, the reason I agree is because I I mean obviously different from everyone here is like I've been canceled in 2018 and I thought I like, was gonna lose everything. 
And so I think that like that puts things into a different perspective for me because like I lost like hundreds of thousands of followers in like a week. Mm -hmm. And so when th something like that happens, like it's scary because you're scared it might happen again. Mind you, I'm not as relevant as I was four years ago, but like to me, I kind of like it better because it's like I am in the perfect spot where I get enough views to like make a lot of money, but not enough to get canceled hella again. So it's like I feel like I agree to some extent, but my again, my opinion is because I've been in a really, really terrible situation before, and it's like I can't help but think that like I have PTSD from it, to be honest. Anybody want to move? I've moved already. Me too. Same. Mm -mm, staying. You guys moved me. <laughs> <laughs> you moved us all. <laughs> Is it, how long are these videos gonna be? That's what I said. <laughs> they're long. long. Like, they should be like 40 minutes. There's so many good yeah. points that you can't cut them. I like long facts. videos anyway. Yeah, me too. I feel so time. happy I because I feel like other people understand me. These are so fun. <laughs> Fuck the beauty community. I'm coming over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming over here. I'm part of the friend group. Here you. <laughs> <laughs> So how come I'm always on the other side? <laughs> I don't know. What is going on? Yeah, I mean, I did this for a reason, right? I didn't do it to make a ton of money. I did it when I was 18. I did it because I was watching people like Alex and I was watching people like Manny. What? I was watching people like Ryan. Know. You watched me? That's so yeah. cool. And oh my so, god. Like, I know. Them, like, <laughs> Same reaction. We're just old, bro. Yeah. <laughs> watching people like that. We're relevant, having, guys. We're relevant. <laughs> and having a dream about it wasn't about the money, especially at 18 when I started. I mean, now I, I like to make money, obviously, because that's how you live. It's making a living for me, which I'm really, really grateful for. But I didn't do it because I was gonna make a ton of money. I wasn't making any money, just like you weren't in five years. Um, so I did it because it was my dream to be a YouTuber. So I don't care. I don't care if I was making less money, I would still be doing what I'm doing, if that makes sense. And it's okay for other people to be doing it for money as long as you're having fun doing it. I just think that, for me, I strongly disagree because I, would, I don't think I'd ever want any other job. Even if I was making no money doing this, I would still do it and have another job because it's really fun for me. Yeah. I would, if only if I got to choose what else I got to do, because I would still want to be in the same industry of like spreading positivity, making people laugh, and like a creative job, but I, I, maybe I've just been doing it so long that I, I want to try something else, but you kind of get trapped when you become successful on YouTube, because like, what are you going to do? You, like, your people depend on you, my friends, I employ my friends, my family, mm -hmm. like, so I got to do, I'm, I, I, I love doing it, but it's just been so long, and I can't not do it. I feel differently about it as the years go on. Sometimes I'm like back in it and then I'm like, oh, I wish I could like not do it. So I don't know. I feel super mixed feelings about this one. Yeah, I, uh, I just moved because <clears throat> I feel like on one hand, I, I love creating and doing these videos with my friends, especially with you guys. I love editing them because then I'm like super proud of the whole like process of it. But at the same time, I feel like I have like other dreams and aspirations, like write a show with Ryan and my brother or direct a movie with him and you know create something that's bigger than quote unquote be a youtuber like maybe like a movie or a netflix show so like if i could be making this money which isn't a lot <laughs> <laughs> wait what was the question i think i'm on the wrong side i think i'm supposed to be on agree oh no see i knew this was gonna happen yeah i'm supposed to be on this side come come <laughs> come <laughs> Sorry, brain fart. Um, yes, I'm over here because kind of like what Tara was saying, or hit on, talk about a little bit. Um, YouTube fell into my lap. It wasn't what I dreamed of always doing. Um, I'm so happy to be doing YouTube. Um, obviously, I edit my own videos for three years now. Obviously, I enjoy the process in some form if I'm editing them, my videos. Um, but music has always been my first love. As you know, you guys know, my music career has always kind of been first. I was a professional dancer first. And then, Prove you know. it. <laughs> Sing and dance right now. Do that she, TikTok dance. She's like, it's yeah. a struggle on YouTube sometimes yeah. because, you know, the views are just. I'm just kidding. It's a struggle. <laughs> Give me one note. Come on, for the no. video. Um, a run. Just one run. See whoa, whoa. Yeah, you guys know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> so, yeah, obviously, if I could be making the type of money, but I'm an independent artist, so. That's an even bigger struggle in itself. Um, if I was making the same amount of money doing YouTube as you know, just putting out music, I would just be solely putting out music. But it's not the case yet. Um, but yeah, come to my show. I don't want to come <laughs> off as like super ungrateful. I'm super grateful no, for I'm what happened. Yeah, we both feel the. I'm extremely 
Yeah, yeah they're so grateful. pretty ungrateful. No, no, no. I think disgusting. I put you guys in a bad spot, and I apologize. They're trash. <laughs> YouTube. Right no, now. YouTube changed my life. It changed my family's life. It yeah. changed my like cousin's life. It changed my friend's life. Like it changed everything. Without I would... YouTube, I would yeah. not have the platform right now to be finally putting out my music. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So I'm, it, it all happened the way it was supposed to. I love doing YouTube. I will be sad if I'm out of, if I get to a point where I'm not, you know, posting blogs anymore or anything like that. Um, but yeah, music is just my first love, you know? I was, I was gonna say like similar to what Alex, and I think he mentioned was like, when I first started on YouTube, because it was like, God, I'm dirt, 08. Like there wasn't a partner program, there was no money. I was always spending money on things, always lying to my friends, saying that I was making money when I wasn't, just because, <laughs> well, I'm in my room in a wig, like, vlogging. <laughs> in a wig? I know, okay. right. I did Everybody's a wig at some point. You, you know, you wanna, to, yeah, you wanna kinda same. like, validate why you're wearing, like you're doing all these silly yeah, you're things. You're just doing stuff that's mm -hmm. abnormal. Yeah. So for me, when I was younger, and like, if you would've told me I would've made any money doing that, I would've been so excited. So I try to keep that same mental, approach of like, I've done both. I've worked the hard jobs. I've done social media. I can't believe I make a dollar doing this. I can't mm -hmm. believe I can do this and make any money, in my opinion, because it wasn't possible when I started. I'm just grateful for life for that. Yeah. Imagine if we were it, it, popular on YouTube in high school now. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. back in the day, it was not cool. It, it like, was people not, were like, not You're cool. the weird the kid opposite. that makes YouTube videos, yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. the opposite but of But now, cool. you're yeah. the most popular kid at school if you have a million subscribers. It's insane. Come on! Yeah. If I could, if it, like, if if I could direct like a K and J show and make, obviously the, that takes like months to plan, like we're doing right now. Yeah. But if I could be making, like, I guess like the amount of money I'm doing, I would just direct and create stuff with like you and for sure the boys, because I love being in front of the camera. But there's something about like directing and creating something it's that's nice. bigger than yourself. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. I'm neutral because like. Cause um, I make no money right now. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, he's in my shoes. Like, I don't make a dime. Yeah, no, um, I feel like before I wanted to do, was doing social media, I always wanted to create a business, but like my business pertained to social media kind of. I wanted to like give people opportunities as I was like sitting in my room creating videos. So it kind of goes hand in hand. So if I could do that and like manage a business scouting people to become social media creators or something, I would do that too. You know what I'm saying? So it goes hand in hand. Hmm. So that's why I'm neutral. Because that's, that's what I wanted to do. We're like getting people, so deep. This is a like fun video. Ooh, I can't wait yeah. to watch it back. I'd be like, it's wow, true. we're all so cool. You better <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then I just twist everyone's yeah. words. You're like, that's not what I said. <laughs> um, so the reason I'm over here is because my trajectory was so different. Like I have my bachelor's of science in health sciences and I was oh, actually wow. going to medical school, school like before I started doing beauty. What? And so, or I was, I was applying to medical schools. And so Dude, a lot of people be don't a know that about too. <laughs> really? Yeah. I was yeah, gonna I be unemployed. To be a plastic, <laughs> I wanted to be a plastic surgeon, so that was like my goal, oh, right? Wow. And so um, when I found beauty, I was like, I had so much more passion for that than I did for going to school. And I had been doing school for like five years at that point. And I was like, oh my god, I'm so tired. And I was at this like crossroads, right? Where I was like, I could be a surgeon and go to school for more longer and you know make all this crazy money, but I didn't, I ended up still choosing beauty anyway because that was what I was passionate about and I don't think I would still change that even now looking back. I'm like, I make just as much, I'm sure, if not more than a plastic surgeon can make right now. So it's like, why would I not continue to do this? You know, which is something I'm passionate about. And it's great because you, you were gonna help people construct their faces, yeah. but now you still do that with your makeup. Yeah, exactly. No, I literally say that all the time. Like, literally, awesome. like I literally, cool. I used to get like for Christmas, I'm not even kidding, this is kind of dorky. I would get like sl slabs of faux skin that I can like cut open and suture them up. Have you ever watched Whoa. Dexter? Yes. Have you watched Dexter? <laughs> Nip Tuck, all of it. I love Nip Tuck. <laughs> Plastic surgery. That's cool. Yeah. That's crazy. Anybody want to move from the spot? No. We're good. All righty. The last one. I feel like we're bodying this, I think. Yeah, I think he's doing killing this. We're themselves. bonding. Yeah, this is yes. a good moment. Yeah. I love it. Core memory, as they say. I'm going to be sad when I go home. Most influencers are bad people. Most? 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 Huh. Oh, this is a really hard one. Yeah, this is a hard one. This is a hard one. I think I might stay here. That's hard because I don't know, like, especially don't know every, you know, click out here personally. 
I yeah, it's tough. It's some, Can we so just say, like, out of the people we know, all the creators we know? Like, maybe, maybe in the no. space, though, right? Like, in your space, influencer, probably. Like you in said. your world. Oh, I mean, influencers we know. Just influencers in general. The yeah. influencers. Well, I don't know all the I, I don't say, know like, if they're bad. The people in your space that oh. you have been around. Most okay. is extreme. Because most, like. you, you can't say if you don't know them, but if you know them, I would say. Yeah, I mean, if most, I would be over there. <sighs> what if we I go to half? I. I you know, know people that know people yeah. that I've just heard terrible. Like, I mean, I, I've unfriended people because they're such shitty people. Same. They feel entitled. They, you know, the views got to them. They think they're the shit and this and that. Or I knew a guy who would be like, how much followers you got? Yeah. <laughs> he told my friend Pablo this. He was like, I was like, how many Instagram followers do you have? And Pablo was like, at the time he was like, oh, 2,300. He was like, that's what I'm gonna call you, 2300. Whoa. Whoa. I think just for that. It was like a big, like, Instagram or YouTuber guy, and I was like, bro, I thought you were cool until that moment. Yeah. And then it was so funny also that I just kept calling Pablo 2300 for the next year. So it's tough. So it's (laughs) tough. I'm like, (laughs) but, you know, I just feel like I've, I've met enough, like, luckily enough, I know all you guys. You guys are great. Thank you. Even some people in our friend group, I'm still like, <laughs> yeah, I, th- I feel like you could become great. Yeah. You're, not that great. You're on the right but, track. Yeah, but I just know other people, I've heard other bad experiences. Like, oh my God, this TikToker, Viner guy, YouTuber, yeah. blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, damn. I think cliches are cliche for a reason. And there's a lot of people that say the influencers are a little much for a reason, because they are. And I've seen so many. I think it's just going to all these fucking playlists and vidcons and seeing the these people it's yeah. just it can get a little much um i know i've met people on the internet that are the nicest people i've ever met in my life truly whether no matter what thing that they're working on i've also met more heinous people on the internet that i have mm-hmm. in their life so i'm gonna be like this <laughs> like right. deciding towards yeah. this but right. kind of yeah i'm like here I'm, I'm, yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's it's tough to say the good outweighs the bad because sometimes it doesn't yeah. on the internet. And that's just my yeah. truth. Because the bad is really bad. It can be really bad. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The bad's bad. Yeah. I, I feel. But the great is good. Like Alex, you have bought so many people eye surgeries just for f- because you love the person. Like. Alex let me stay at his house for a month. He bought me a laptop. While I was going through a transition. <laughs> yeah. He bought me a laptop when someone stole mine out of my car. I How just lost my car you today. Know. How extreme. <laughs> You're so cool. yeah. If you got the means, just, why just not? Alright, that's so sweet. Someone stole my car today. It just happened. Alex, <laughs> someone stole my car. Yeah, like Alex is the type of guy, like, I would, if I just knew him, I'd be like, this is, like, Alex is probably one of the nicest, greatest Absolutely. guys Absolutely. Oh, Always you. has been, too, which is yeah. cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that, like, we're talking about just influences, but it's just all people. If you're a, like a mean, bad YouTuber, you're just a bad person and you happen to be a YouTuber. Yeah. And there are always gonna be bad people. So it's the same as... I think the internet can create a little bit of a, a confidence and cockiness where the gray line is. Yeah. I think there can, come, there can be confidence from being like, wow, I'm doing well on the internet. There can be cockiness, which then can turn into negative and uh, negative things in my opinion. So I think it's such a gray line. Yeah, that uh, can be added because of the look, because you're of the becoming exactly. influencer. <laughs> exactly. The bad the bad YouTubers, I feel like most often in my experiences are the younger ones that got super popular, but that's only because they think that's how they're supposed to act. Mm. I still feel kind of new to this space, this world, especially in LA, especially with 2020, I feel like it crossed out a whole year that I could have experienced, I guess, more people, you know what I mean? So really feel like two years. Um, but I've had both experiences, like meeting an influencer that I was like a really big fan of, and then they were like totally awful. And then I've had situations where, you know, mainly I have the friends that I do have because they are like so wholesome and genuine. And you know, so I got really lucky with the friend group that I that I ended up, that I landed in. Um, but to say most, I don't know because I haven't met you. You know more people than me. You've been doing this longer. Um, yeah, so I don't know. <coughs> hey, this hey, is her moment. Hey, this is your moment, Neza. No. Come on. <laughs> come on. I was gonna Come back on. you up. <laughs> Most YouTubers haven't burned me, but I've seen a lot of them burn other people, quote unquote, their best friends, or, and I'm just like. Yeah, but something doesn't really have to, have to happen to you personally to know that that person's awful. Yeah. Like, there's enough evidence that you can figure out, you know. Um, yeah, because I've never really had anyone do anything personally to me, but. I've had people do it to, you know, other people. Yeah. I'm so new to the space, so it's like, I don't know anybody. I feel like I've just been blessed with a good friend group, to be honest. Have, have you, you not met so, any one of us? Not one? Like I mean, no, like, I, don't, I haven't met You're a lucky. shitty person, so it's like. You're lucky. Um, 
I would I say 90 like, or 95 percent of the people I've met are nice. But yeah. there are I, some I, really bad mm, five percent. I feel like yeah. I've been yeah. blessed with a good friend group, you know. So it's like everyone's cool, everyone's you know super over. humble, and yeah, I'm gonna move yeah. to neutral too. Yeah. I, haven't I met, haven't met a shitty person yet, to be honest. And I thought because like everything, every like on TikTok, like, people saying LA is so bad, it's full of fake people, it's this, it's that. And when I got here, I'm like. Yeah, I'm but chilling. you also is, land, you it came is. straight into this friend group. Yeah. I, it took me a whole decade to find the fr the, our friend group uh -huh. that we're in now. I've That's been in and out of so many mm -hmm. friend groups in LA because people are awful here. They truly are. Um, but you've been blessed, you know, with a They made it much easier to come down group. here. Yeah. 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 And also, they're like a group, good group of people, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. So if I stand friends. next to any of you guys and be like, oh, this is so and so's friend, they're like, oh, this guy's nice. So yeah. I'm going to treat him nice as well. Yeah. You know? That's a good Very perspective. Cool. I'd rather you have yeah. that perspective than everyone's that, shitty. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. I was yeah. like, yeah. I was like LA's so mm. shitty. Like, I want to go back home. Like, LA's not for me. But I was like, I'm chilling. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm chilling. Like, LA is you where know? you make it. So yeah. it's uh, up to the person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, Colin Evans, not for me. <laughs> <laughs> this is my town. What about you, Tara? No one's ever done you dirty, huh? That's not true. I feel like it's there not are. True. <laughs> it's not true. I She's feel like. Objection. I feel like. Some people have done me dirty in this Call industry or whatever. What? No. I'm out for the views. Name drop. No. Do it. Name drop. Good title. Name we got your back. Real good title. And I'm still here in this area because I think the good outweighs the bad. And I think that, just like Ryan said, like the 5% or whatever, like the bad ones who are YouTubers or influencers are freaking the worst. They're like, it gives them a sense of like, I'm better than you, you know? Um, but the people who are great are great. And I think I try to look at it positively, even with the shit I've been through, so I feel like I'm just gonna stand here. Cause even if there are a few bad nuts, you can't let that, you know, yeah. fuck up the whole trail mix. Yeah, oh. trail mix. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, like I that. think uh, we've all displayed a lot of struggles and we've grown quite closer to this video, so we should do a group hug. We're not and have him in the middle of it. Oh, we're doing a group hug? Group hug. Oh, one more question. Oh, Is there one more question? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Devontae's in the middle. Oh, oh Devontae, you're new. Core memory, oh, core memory. You're new. And you're still not. I, 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 I want to be a kind of musical, like. Oh, school. This is your moment. This is your moment. You've had so many moments, Nessa. I will say, I will say because of this video, I feel seen and heard in a good way. Like, I feel like I don't have to go through this shit alone, and there's people around me. I didn't even know you used to watch me. That's so crazy. Everyone used to watch you. The, well, used to. I can't. No, I'm saying like <laughs> irrelevant. Dude, are you kidding? Irrelevant. I'm sorry. Are you kidding me? No, that's, no, that's me. People watch me. You're like the most just, popular YouTuber. I thought it was like only Asian kids. No, I, I'm Middle Eastern, so I'm Asian. <laughs> okay, perfect. How do you feel after filming this video? Better. I feel good. I feel good. I feel great. Sometimes it's good to yeah. get things out of your your system a little bit and talk about it. It was like it. a therapy session. You for I, sure. I loved hearing everything. Yeah. I, it was cool to see everybody's point of view and, and different uh, it was crazy. Yeah. Especially from different walks of life, like it's cool. Yeah. I really, really enjoy it. Cause like everyone like does different things. Like I'm like in the beauty guru space and yeah. there's like lifestyle and just It's so diverse. Comedy. Whatever the fuck Devante does, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just started. I take, I take he doesn't know too. yet. You don't know. You're, you're gonna, gonna find, find out. You're I take out. showers with my chill partner. We, we all don't know, trust me. <laughs> yeah. That's the, that's We're the all just winging we it. Still that's don't what, yeah, know. yeah, yeah Manny, he, he actually just takes showers with his channel partner. Yes. Wait, what? I take showers with my channel partner. He's on that side of you. Oh my god. Yeah. Is he a guy? Yeah. His name is Savage, so. They're Savage. Collab? Naked? <laughs> Collab? Naked? <laughs> Dick out? Shirtless. Wow. YouTube has changed. And a I'm on the wrong side. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the wrong side, by. You're like, I need a shower. I need a shower. Yeah, these, this yeah, these lights, these <laughs> lights, man. Tara, what about you? What did you learn from this experience? A lot. I feel like I could go to these people for a lot of things now. Oh. Was there anything that surprised you? That you were like, whoa, I didn't know that about that person, or I didn't know people felt that way. A lot of your answers surprised me. Really? Because you've been doing it so long, so I'm like, maybe I need to look up and be like, wow. There's a better you know? picture. Because mm -hmm. it's like, experience are different. He's been doing it for how long, I've been doing it for how long, you've been doing it for how long, you've been doing it for how long, you know? We're all in different places, so. I think the biggest thing that surprised me was I just didn't know Neza could sing or dance. This is your moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can learn a thing or two. She did a moonwalk in the other video. I saw yeah. it. Oh, I, I saw did. it. I saw it. That's, That's crazy. good, guys. That's it. That was crazy. Dude, thank you guys for being here. You did too. No way. That's crazy. Nobody ever tells me. No, it was like a therapy session. That was because I feel like people who don't do YouTube don't get it. No, ever. No, like literally they don't. So I, you know what I'm afraid of? The comments. Yeah, me too. From today's video? Yeah. Oh my God, they're gonna be like, you ungrateful mother. Yeah, they're gonna be like, 